How's it going everybody? It's your pal Mega Snoop bringing you another quick little tutorial here today in Toontown Corporate Clash. Now a lot of people have been watching my streams and they see that I'm running around Yield Toontown, one of the new playgrounds in this game, without the black and white filter on and people are wondering how I do that. Uh, it used to be a glitch or a bug before where if you resize your window it would change from non-colored color but that was not the intended way to do it. There was a true intended way to do it. I'm gonna walk you through it here real quickly. It's not that difficult. We're just gonna jump right into it. Here we go. So the way to unlock this only becomes available once you get to the Yield Toontown Playground. That means you have to complete Toontown Central first and then Barnacle Boatyard and start doing tasks in Yield Toontown. And the reason for this is because what you need is unlockable through a side quest. And this side quest is found in the dungeon that is behind Yield Toontown Shops in the playground and you're going to go into one of the dungeon cells and you're going to talk to Timmy Riddle. Kind of a funny joke because, you know, from Harry Potter it's, it's Tom Riddle, becomes Voldemort, and his name is Timmy Riddle. He was banished for using magic, at least that's what the side quest says. So anyways, bad joke. You go through the side quest, which isn't really too difficult, as long as you're continuously doing the regular tasks as well, it lines up fairly easily. And through the quest, Timmy Riddle tells you about a certain magic that he learned that he was banished from the playground for doing, and that's why he was locked in the cell. And supposedly this magic is getting rid of the black and white from the playground and being able to see it in full color. So once you finish Timmy's quest, it won't be so apparently clear, but you will have a new option in your options menu. If you go over to camera, there's going to be a check mark that says, Enable Filters. This comes already checked because the black and white that is over the game is a filter. So when you take it off, the filter is removed and you can see the playground in full color. Now I made a new tune just to be sure, but this option is not standard. It only becomes available once you beat this side quest. And once you do, you can enjoy not having your eyes strained by looking at black and white for the next five hours as you attempt to task through the playground. Not that I don't like the black and white, I think it's a really cool idea, but I am so glad that they gave you the ability to turn it off by unlocking it through a side quest and you can enjoy all the hard work that went into these beautiful vibrant colors that are spread around the entire playground. I like the black and white, but I gotta say I love the way the playground design looks in color as well. So anyway, hopefully this helped you guys out. It was a really short, simple little thing to do. Leave a like if you did enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay awesome, God bless, and peace.